you have a YouTube channel? Would you like to have a YouTube channel that's like a TV show? Hi, it's Rich Bontrager from Rock the Stage Media and Rock the Stage Show, where we do help people produce original streaming TV shows, just like we do here, Rock the Stage, every week. But I want to talk to you about how this could be done in a very practical way and very powerful that you may not even be thinking about. So often we're going big. We want to be big. We want to be bigger. But what if you went smaller? Let me tell you why I'm thinking more and more about this, because I've seen it work several times, and I don't think people are aware of the power of going hyper small. Over this last weekend, there was an active shooter situation in London, Kentucky. My younger brother lives in that area. He sent me a text. He said, Rich, jump on the YouTube and listen to this as a YouTube guy has a channel covering their local region and community. And... He's covering the London active shooter. It was amazing. He had the police dispatch radio plugged in so you hear the audio of the police trying to catch the individual. This individual shot five people. No one was killed, but he was driving on in his truck trying to shoot more people from the overpass. And it went on all night long. This YouTube channel had that audio going, a picture of the individual. And then he had... Reporter stringers, his friends in different parts of the region, calling in and giving reports about what they heard in their region because a car kept driving around in all sorts of small cities. They don't have a news station. They don't have a radio station. They don't have any way to gather this information. So this YouTube content creator created a hypersensitive local streaming channel. And I did a little research. He's been doing this for a while. <laughs> and it works. We're going big, big, big. But what if you live in a smaller market? Many small markets don't have radio, TV, maybe not even a newspaper. If they're lucky, maybe once a week, you get a printed newspaper. But what if you were the source of information? What if you went hyper-local and you covered the mayor, the police chief? What if you sat down with the superintendent of your small community school? You would own people's attention. They would come to you to be the source of their small community that everyone forgets about. And heaven forbid, if anything ever happens on a big scale, a major fire, an active shooter, you would be the number one person your people would go to because you're local, you're trusted, and you've already been doing it for a very long time. It actually works. And the numbers go up and up. As I watched this active shooter on the weekend, it took three days for the national networks to pick up this story. Think about that. This YouTuber had a captive audience that grew and grew over the weekend, and no one else knew about this story. Finally, the networks picked it up. But guess where the local people are still turning for information? The active YouTuber has still got all the people following his updates as this has gone on and on. And right now, on Thursday, they still have not captured this individual. He has not been brought in. The story continues, and so does that YouTube channel. What can you do to become hyperactive in your local community? Become the news source. Become the number one place that people go. Stand out from the crowd. Don't just be like everyone else trying to create a YouTube show. Create one that makes a big impact with targeted information that they can't find anywhere else. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this idea of going hyper small to get a bigger audience. Drop me a line. Let me know. Until next time, it's a trigger, Rich Bontrager. Have a great day.